Welcome everyone to an arena video. I'm Andromen Gucci and this video is sponsored you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. Oh no, you know, since I'm very high on the ladder still, I want to just try the X on the construction constructed before before getting into the ladder. Alright, this one seems obviously great. Obviously great. Turn to Reason Reef, and then uh, Reason Reef with this deck is uh, even stronger than um, than in the other decks. All right, I wasn't sure about this Temple of Mystery to play this or not in my deck. So the top land could be annoying, but let's see. Dear her first. Hello, Bird Black. And Vanguard Metrics. I also was pretty unsure about the Adroid Crazes because um, obviously it doesn't go very well with um, it doesn't go very well with the with the quasi duplicate but I think it's very good I don't know quasi rift deck yeah it's modern good form and now maybe I don't know I'm not that interested I mean they do have to go to GP Gent at some point well, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, I thought about a cool deck in Modern, I have heard for Chan Fireball, it's like a four color, four color control, basically on the same kind of, uh, of the Legacy one, but, all right, yeah, the fear of playing these kind of events is that you play against bulk, against junk decks, it's kind of a fear that I have all the time, but, what do you want to do? Oh, Classic Miss from Cavalier. Pretty rare. I don't know if you're supposed to put on the stack. What, what do you have supposed to put in the stack first? Cavalier and then Razor Reef? Or Razor Reef then Cavalier? I don't think it makes a difference, right? Shouldn't make any difference. Alright, opponent uh, doing some stuff. Ooh. All right, is this going to be lethal? Nope. Sometimes the, the, the Nexus of Fate just, just finds lethal on uh, very weird scenarios, but this is not one of them. Again, I'm still unsure about the Hydroid uh, Crisis in this deck, because I saw some lists, and not that many people were playing it, but I was like, why? You know, I was, I was pretty... Shocked by the fact that people were not playing um, Hydroid Crazes. Good luck with the games. Thank you. Final of Devastation. What is it? I don't remember. Final of Devastation. Is it a red one? Yeah, the machine saw didn't have Hydroid. It's true, right? I, I mean, it's still a great card. I don't see why people don't don't like it. Uh, all right, at the end of the day, I don't have much going on here. It's just a lot of lands. I'm going to quasi-duplicate the Reason Reef, I guess. And now double trigger. On our elf, not great. Reason Reef, sort of great. So I'll cast Reason Reef. Triple trigger. Yeah, all the lands into play. Sometimes you could draw the lands, but... Um, I don't want to play on a Lift King Druid. That will be a triple trigger. I think that's fine, right? I think that is fine. Yeah. And this is kind of what you want to do with this deck. Just, just, just go off with all the card advantage in the world and then just, I don't know, somehow win the game. Final of Devastation, oh, is the green the tutors in this deck? I don't know, it could, because you give plus X, plus X and trample, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, this is, this is kind of a, like, so one of the first rules for, like, the, one of the first rules for the, um, the life gain decks is, uh, sorry, the life gain decks, 
one of the first rules for the combo decks, you know, is just to not really put, to not really put um, win conditions in your deck if you can afford not to. I don't know, here I'm just gonna do as much value as I can with uh, with my cards. Because Cavalier of Thorns is the best. Again, I don't really know what's, what, what is the best, what is the best uh, sequencing for, um, for the Cavalier plus Reason Reef. Pretty sure it doesn't matter at all, but still, it's interesting. Esper Hero. I don't know. I, I never liked the deck. I, I, I played like three side events in Vegas with Esper Hero. Against Esper Hero, sorry. I don't know. I just don't know why I'll be able to play that deck. I'm always baffled by that, but I don't know. People like it, I guess. Alright, here I'm just going to. <laughs> I'll just go off as much as I can. It's honestly not even that fun, because it's, you know. I mean, I guess it, it is fun. The good thing is that you can't deck yourself with this deck, which is usually, you know, one of the things. That could happen with decks like this. But not in this deck, because you have a you have a, a, Nox, a Nexus of Fate. So once you go off, the game just ends. It, it, it is fun. That's true. Because sometimes, sometimes you, you just have to like like look at your deck and be like, hey, you know, what should I do? And blah blah blah. But not in this deck. In this deck, you just don't care about those things. Is it Psorodis? I don't know what list is this. I, I, I just googled a bunch of lists. I, I I googled a bunch of lists and then uh, I don't know, I made I made some cuts. You know the station annoyed droid. Yeah, I mean I saw I all the lists that I saw played like zero to one a droid and I was like really? Yeah, I was like this is I don't know, this is not uh, I just feel like that the droid crazes is just too good. <laughs> I don't know, this, this looks fun. This looks fun. I mean, we're playing like Solitaire because I'm playing as Mono White Impression Iterator, but still. Like, okay, how many cards do I have in my deck? Oh fuck, I died. Oh wow, I died. GG. All right, I guess that's why we're playing this. this that's how we play this event. Should have gone upkeep nexus, but uh, that that happened. Whatever, whatever. We don't care. We don't care. Man, yeah. Welcome, to a new video. Wow, we got a raid already. Nice. Thank you very much. Couple of forty two with the raid of forty nine. Just came right on time when we killed ourselves with. I don't know, I, th I thought I had more cards in my deck, but I guess that does make sense. You're Andrea, nice, nice. All the Andrea in the world. I need to meet you, we will be in Atlanta. No, no. W were you in Vegas, EW Land? No, right? If you were, you should have definitely come up and say something. <laughs> I, I was in Vegas like all the, every day, just, just meeting a lot of people, just playing all the side events. <clears throat> you were? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Where is after game one? Can nobody mention that? <laughs> we decked ourselves exactly. <clears throat> oh, nice. And Legacy MCQ top eight. Nice. What, what were you playing? What were you guys playing? I saw Bomberman one. You like Vegas? No, I don't like Vegas. I mean, I like that there's like a cool event in there, but personally, I don't like gamble and I don't like smoking. So there's a lot of smoke inside and a lot of gambling, but you know, it's just a lot of people like it and um, the events there are always pretty good because just there's a lot, a lot of people and etc. Alright, I'll uh, play this and play Jailer Ranger. You play the Stifle and Mongoose? Really? Oh, so it's really against my, against my, against my principles. The prize wall having packs of 20. Yes, that changed. That changed. The, the, uh, the, but you could get the, the Modern Horizon for 40. I don't know. I usually... 
I usually get like singles and uh, and and modern and like modern master sets, modern horizon in this case. I got like infinite modern horizon, more more than a box and uh, and a bunch of um, of cards that was missing. Thank you, couple. I see you like popper again. I I played two leagues and really liked my deck. It was like Tron blue. It was was very cool. And uh, yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it indeed. And um, I'm, I'm looking to record the legacy videos with it. I guess the reason why people don't play the droid crazies in this deck is because uh, of discs and the synergy, you know. But it is a good payoffs. Yeah, yeah, Luis, that is that is the combo that we're doing. Four quests duplicate, three crazies. People were not playing crazies in their deck. I was like, man, maybe, maybe they're right, but I just really like this card, you know? When I saw like the Golos Guest, the Golos Capeship deck, they play like two or three crazies as well. I'm like, wow, things have really changed in this week. No, what happened to the Juice and Gin? Tell me. That was pretty bad. I don't know what happened to the Juice and Gin, but definitely, definitely better than this, probably. All right, I'll quasi duplicate the Leaf King Druid. Exactly what we wanted to to copy with our with our quasi duplicate. Although if we draw reason reef, we just go off. Is this the new hotness? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't followed standard in a week because I was in Vegas. Yeah, jet lag hits hard. I've been awake for from like five a.m. But in two hours, I fixed. I I like you know unbuilt and built all the decks. Sorted all my cards, built my legacy decks, like le legacy deck for for Sunday. You know everything is sorted, and now at seven a.m. I go live. Oh no! Oh wow! The the Juzum Jin, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty rough, but someone's happy. If you're going to win, you should just quasi duplicate your crazies to send a message. I do. I mean, I also uh, deck myself in order to send a message in game one. I guess that was a pretty big message that I sent by decking myself with four, uh, there it is, with four, um, four Nexus of Fate in my deck. All right, let's go. Reason Reef. We even have two Leaf King Druid, to just, we just have an infinite blue mana. I mean, green mana. Yeah, I should have probably topped differently. I guess that one saves me, kind of, but... That one saves me because otherwise I couldn't have gone a double, uh, tr sorry, triple reason reef this turn, despite having a lot of lands. All right, it's a nexus and another reason reef. Uh, I think I'm gonna just cast a reason reef at this point instead of going for quasi duplicate. Yeah, I I I always try to buy like cards and and foil and stuff like that at the at the GPs instead of packs. Also, just because I. You know, I was I was I was traveling light, just a bag, just my like carry on. So I didn't really want to just put infinite packs in it. But on Sunday we had a dinner with Shannon Fireball, and uh, and Yui Jensen was in there, and he was pushing me so much to just just go away. And I had like my nine hundred tickets that I wanted to you know buy cool cars with, and he was like pushing me like let's go, let's go, let's go. And I was like, all right, and I just take like. You know any amount of modern horizon packs but you know that was uh that was something that i was definitely looking for in the for my to up to up to upload to update my cube because very often i just don't really i don't know for example i need a golos foil and i'm pretty sure there was a lot of like standard foil cards that can go in the cube good morning banjo caveman we're playing against a why we light gain. I was really hoping to just get a quick one, but game one we uh, unfortunately uh, unintentionally decked ourselves, and um, now I'm gonna make sure that I don't gag myself anymore. Yeah, I only. All right, so let's start off with uh, with Nexus of Fate, so that I'm just sure that it's gonna happen. And then I'm going to qu double quasi duplicate the reefs to draw four cards. A friend of mine is playing Reason Reef in um, in, in in Legacy with Young Pyromancer, which is kind of cool. All right, draw four cards. What next? 
guess I'll play a Leaf King Druid. You think the Ferocity Unbound will affect the meta game? I don't think so. I don't think Ferocity Dawn is is good at all. Yeah. Like, since uh, where where are my lands? All right. Since Nexus of Fate is sorry, since the Fairy is around, I don't think uh, the Fairy uh, Ferocity Dawn is, is playable. Maybe it's like a sideboard card, but I don't really see it doing wonders. All right, is there a Walker in play? All right. So I'm gonna kick things off by casting a Nexus of Fate. Then I'll play J Ranger. I really hope my I mean I don't know, whatever. Let's see what happens. Draw two lands. Yeah, this is better to reveal with them with Reef, but that's also fine. Let's go J Ranger. Good morning, people. Have a good day. What's the best deck you can play in Legacy with Underground Sea? So, uh, I'm going to play uh, next, uh, when is it? Next Sunday, I'm going to play uh, like four color. All right, this definitely need to get, I'm gonna just top in upkeep because I don't wanna deck myself again here. Which is actually very possible that I do. So I'm going, all right, I have 20 cards, so I'm not gonna deck myself, at least this turn. Uh, I'm gonna play four color, four color control, which I don't know if it's good or not. I just bought my foil, four, four foil astrolabes, and I wanna buy, I don't wanna play with them. But I'm, I'm not sure if like that's better than like uh, Ran 6. I win a positive way, what is it? All right, all this card, a bunch of cards. Plans on 27, I have 19 cards in my deck. All right, first thing I do is cast an Nexus of Fate. Wait, I don't have an Nexus of Fate? How is it possible? All right, <laughs> uh, what do you want to do? Update. Um, I guess I'll start off by drawing five cards to get a Nexus of Fate. All right. Now we should really carefully not deck ourselves. Okay, so let's play Nexus of Fate. I'm gonna just put a stop in my upkeep, just just in case, just in case. All right, I'm gonna play a Crisis for uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever, X equals six. All right. Uh, I will find you a GP Bologna. You will. You will definitely find me. You will definitely find me. All right, many cards I have in my deck. Seven. All right, but also I put a stop in my upkeep, so nothing bad can happen this time around. Okay, I sure. I assure you guys that I will not deck myself this time around. I'm even going to attack here. I think I just attack. Uh, no, I don't attack at all. It's these. Do triggers get off the tokens? Uh, Prison Reef? Yes, this is Enter the Battlefield. That's why it's played in Legacy with um, with Young Paramancer. Yeah, I would pause the way, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. Better to have five ten percent deck. What do you, What do you think about what What are you saying, Blowy Hundred? Sorry, I, d I don't follow you. I appreciate how my opponent is uh, not giving up. By the way. All right, I have a stop in upkeep. So I'll play Nexus of Fate, tapping five island. Thank you very much, Auto Tapper. I'll uh, attack. If I attack with all, do I, does my opponent die if I attack with all? Probably, right? Whatever. Why aren't you playing Fast Bond? Because it's not legal on Arena. Talking about repeating for us in unban. Yeah. I mean, repeating for us in the band is, is, is a thing that should have happened like a year ago. But Wizard were, were is kind of lazy with the unbannings. Because they don't really want to just, they don't really want to just uh, do some unbannings. And they just find themselves with uh, with a format that was, I don't know, maybe ruined by that a card that they just banned before. Like, uh, unban a card and then ban it again. It's, I don't know. I mean, it's always a failure to ban cards. But I think it's even more a failure when you just unbanning them and banning it again. 
It's mango time. Yeah, this is early, early mango time. What overlay are you using for MTGA? Are you asking me? Um, I don't know. Channel Fireball has given me this this thing around my face, and then I just put random pictures, and I don't know. It's it's a, it's not like you know a very good uh, a very good uh, overlay, <laughs> I would say, but I think it does it. You say you have positive, yeah, I mean, it will, it will affect it in a positive way. I mean, it's just not a card in the metagame. The thing is that I, I don't know how many people are willing to craft four rares to just, um, two to four rares wild card for a card that is going to be played for like two weeks. I mean, maybe like if you only play mono red, you have like infinite wild cards because you just play mono red. But I don't know. I don't really plan on... Uh, I don't really plan. Oh, Coppolo, you are Andrea Viaggi. I see, I see. I just see you, your tweet, Coppolo, sorry. I didn't know you were Andrea Viaggi. All right, yeah, very very often you just uh, interact with people on Twitter. <laughs> very often you just interact with people on Twitter and then um, and they just never know their face, their real name. I mean, that was your name. But like the face, the, the their online name and stuff like that. If you're going to play the historic format, it's not as bad to spend on wild card. I I understand that, but are you really trying to play the historic format? Like I I I know it's a thing, right? I know it's a thing. Historic format. It's like a nice backup plan. Let's say they go like in order to unlock your uh, full NEH cards. <laughs> what put me on the draw? What's this? In order to put the the full NEH cards, you need to use the the historic format for example but other than that i don't think that will ever level like a ranked or anything about the historic format i mean it's a cool thing that it happens but i don't know how much impact it will have in the like uh in the economy of, of magic arena and also there's not going to be like paper events historic so it's just uh i'm not i'm not excited to just practice uh, that format i'm gonna block here if they attack I think the quasi duplicate is kind of weird. I mean, it does work great with reason reefs, but not now, not in this pot. So yeah, been been away from streaming for uh, for one week. I'm very sorry for all of you missing me, but um, you know, Twitter was full of deck list and stories and channel fireball legacy videos were keep on coming. As well as a cool uh, deck guide that I did for Channel Fireball. I don't know if you guys got the chance of play, of, of watching it, but I did a, a Kitty's deck guide, uh, Kitty's deck guide with how the deck works, and also a video of uh, of me going off on turn four on stream. So so that's cool. All right, opponents attacking with that one. Um, is this is this partnered? No. Yeah, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna kill the Leon in Vanguard. I don't know, I kind of feel like I have mana. Sure, if I draw like the um, the five drop now, it's bad, but if uh, if not, I'm glad I killed the thing there. I'll see if I throw the five drop, sure, I'm gonna just, yeah. Time, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna name the Cavalier of Thorns. Maybe Jane Lair Ranger, though. Because Cavalier of Thorns is better, but I only have three Cavalier, whereas I have four Jane Lair Ranger. Oh, yeah, I mean, Vanguard, it's, I, I mean, of course, you guys all should say hi to me, if you feel like it. I was I was at the GP, you know, basically exactly for that reason. I was playing all these side events, no main event. I enjoyed so much, you know. Like, usually, I see a GP before this year as a competitive event, so I always go for, like, the main event, I practice a lot and stuff. Whereas this GP felt really like holiday to me. Like, I was playing all the formats that I love, I was playing for fun, I, you know, uh, were just in a very, like, happy pace at all the time, even, like, losing or winning. Like, for example, I played the Legacy, uh, um, uh, what is it called, the Legacy um, Double Up Challenge, and uh, I got turn 2 and turn 3 by Mono Red Storm. By Mono, Mono Red Storm, I went, like, turn 1 Chalice of the Void, turn 2 Karn with my Bomberman deck, and I just got... I got destroyed by, by Moderate Store. I was just, you know, having a blast. Like, yo, that's cool and everything. All right. Okay, classic double draw land of the Jade Light. Good morning, Eisenberg Hat. I like climbing, but anyone can go to Mythic to play enough. 
what do you say? Perrin eventually gets leagues, yeah. Yeah, climbing is good because it, it, it makes you qualify for the for the arena MC, which is which is a big deal. And also saying to your friends, hey, you know, I'm gas, I I don't know, I I finished uh, first in this ladder. I think it's uh, you know, big boost for your confidence. Like for example, right now I just really wanna go first, you know. Javier, my friend, is just is five days at his first. <laughs> just funny. And um and I'm right now fifteen on the ladder. So I just kind of wanted to wait how this deck was going and did that in a traditional uh, traditional event, traditional event. Andres streaming early today. I am, I am, I am streaming early, library manipulator. Came back from, uh, came back from uh, Las Vegas yesterday, so I'm jet lagged, woke up at four, did a lot of things and now, now I'm live. <laughs> All right, what did my opponent do? What did my opponent do? Take heart. All right. I took it to the heart. And we just rebuild. Uh, it's gonna go stay in the library. To the library, please. To the library. The US West Coast, thanks for early streams. <laughs> yeah, I met a lot of people from the US West Coast. They were saying, oh, sorry, West Coast. Yeah, no, I mean, also from the East Coast, they were saying how they were, like, awake at, uh, they were awake at, uh, so what do you want to quasi duplicate here? The, the Wild Growth Walker or the Jade Light? I think I want to quasi duplicate the Wild Growth Walker. And just go Jade Light, and next turn I can quasi duplicate the Jade Light and increase, increase two Wild Growth Walker instead of just one. You know, after playing with Reason Reef, <laughs> Jade Light Ranger seems so much worse. I mean, it's cool and everything that you have the. It's cool and everything that you have the. The life gain, which is like, of course, like that's cool. But Jill Ranger doesn't draw spells, which is not great. That if you have a lot of, it's okay to brag to my non-magic friends that I go up to three on the ladder. Yes, yes. I mean, three on the ladder is insane. It's, it's very hard. Like only only this season I have managed to finish higher than. Um, Higher than, than, than fifth, because I only, you know. I don't think the magic plays was scary. I mean, it's always good to just tell your friend, hey, you know, I'm great. I'm, I'm a fan of saying it, I'm great. To friends that don't play magic, if they ask me. Of course, I don't go around and say, hey, you know, I'm a mythic invitational champion. But if they ask me how things going, I'm saying, I'm, you know, it's super good and I'm super happy about them. I think about the new unbannings. Oh, that's a lot of things to think about. Uh, overall, looks looks okay, right? Overall, looks okay. Is this better than drawing three cards? How would I draw three cards? I don't know. I'm just clicking buttons at this point. I don't really care what I'm doing. Like, there's no way I could lose. I, I was pretty upset at the last game one to just because I decked myself in, um, unintentionally, because this game was obviously like, my power level is just too good for for their deck to fight. You can say you're good at something, but having a metric to measure how good you are is, is impressive. What does it mean, Vanguard Metrics? You're fan of a metric? Your nickname and your comments? Clicking Buttons is how I play too. Yeah, Javier Dominguez is uh, the inventor of the Clicking Buttons strategy which I, I'm not a fan usually, but he is. He, he used to have like for a very long time in his, uh, in his Twitter, in his Twitter messages that he was a clicking buttons. Uh, let me see if he still has it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> let me see. Yeah, playing cards and clicking buttons. He still has, because made fun of him. Playing cards and clicking buttons. <laughs> we make fun of him here for, for writing that in cards and clicking buttons in his in his uh, Twitter profile. Could we really keep on stream? I decide which new cards to get added to it. Uh, so which two cards usually we we be like, what are the cards that we always see last picks? Usually it's white, white cards. And what, what to add is just, you know, whatever I find in foils very often. Like, <laughs> you know, it's pretty, pretty bad metric, but uh, it is it is like that. It's usually what I find in foils. And uh, if I like it, I play with them, if, you know. That is the truth. 
Saying you're good at magic, but also being able to say I'm good at magic, for example. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Planet's still not dead, unfortunately. We're gonna just draw six cards this turn. The classic six cards. All right, I can see it. Happy, happy. Happy, happy. Let's go to the Emily Limited for the first time. Yeah. I mean, it takes a while, but... All right, we won this match. It was not hard. It was not hard. I, the, the, honestly, the, the things that, you know, I love to just, uh, the fact that Magic Arena has all the quests daily. So I, I stayed away one week. So I kind of feel like I, 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 I burned 4,000 gems or something. Sorry, 4,000 gold or something. Which isn't too much if you think about it, but still. I'm, I'm a fan of value. So burning value, I'm not a fan, you know. All right, play first. That's a good end. That is a good end indeed. All right. Why don't else will leave us? We'll leave the, the standard format, luckily. I really don't like this card in the format. Ooh, Blossom in Sand. So this is either a Scape Shift deck or a Budget deck. Really hoping it's a Scape Shift deck. If it's a Budget deck, I could even be kind of um, not join another constructed event anymore in my life but more of the genius all right this should be definitely definitely escape ship so i now regained confidence in this uh, in this type of event okay so let's play a reason reef because i'm gonna play temple i don't know if i should play temple first i don't i don't, I don't really think it makes any difference uh i don't want another of that i mean why not right it's better than a land. In the situations when I have, you know, a lot of mana, I just like to draw spells instead of lands. Like, even if it's not a great spell, I'm still happy. Uh, the climb from diamond to mythic. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of, it's kind of like, I feel like it's, you need to find your deck and then you go on a streak. That was my, that was how usually I, oh, that was usually how I, I get to just climb up. All right, I think I'd rather go for Cavalier. It's not mana efficient, but this way I can go eight mana next turn. If I haven't miscounted. Yeah, I think I I I three say set. I will not go to seven mana just because I didn't hit a single land with Reason Reef. Had I hit a land with Reason Reef, I could have gone eight mana next turn. Instead, I did not. Thank you, Flex Retro. I'm gonna stream. I'm gonna need to stock up some legacy video this week. I think I want to do one per day because uh, next week I have the MPL weekly to prepare for. So I'm not gonna. I just I just want to play standard like the whole week. Yeah, you need to go like yeah straight like that exactly. Temple first because you always want to ramp with your reef. Yeah, that is that is that is true. That is true. All right, actually one to eight mana. So whatever I was talking about, I don't know. So let's go Reason Reef first and then Cavalier of Thorns. You ever touch a limited time events? Limited time events? What is it? Draft? Uh, I mean, sometimes sometimes I play draft, but... Um, all right, so another question is, do I want to play Tamiya to get to the Nexus of Fate? Because Nexus of Fate is how you win the, these games. Hmm, but Cavalier ramps me up. If I play Cavalier, how much money is this? Three, say, otto. So I could get three lands out and go to, sorry, two lands out and then draw a land and go to Nexus of Fate next turn. And then I have a 5-6 to attack with instead of just a Tamiyo. But a Tamiyo just guarantees me the, basically guarantees me the Nexus. I think it's better to go Tamiyo. They might have a counter. No, they have a, um, the, they have the Groot Spiral. Spring scape shift doesn't doesn't that counter. All right, so let's go Nexus of Fate. Even if we miss, you know, it's not gonna be a big deal because it means that you wouldn't have drawn it regardless. Like like that is our plan is to find Nexus of Fate. So either we find it with the Tamio or with the Reason Reef's uh, triggers. That was you know a way to find it. All right. Okay, in decks like these, what green card do you think are good? The Prism of Walker? I mean, Walker. I don't think it's 
particularly be missed. Like, not really, not, there's not many people that play that card anymore. You play it in here because, um, because the Quasi Duplicate worked well with Jailer Ranger. But it's not gonna be like, oh, you know, I don't have that card anymore. All right, we just need to find Nexus here. Okay, no, we don't. Ugh, that's tough. All right, I think I'll start off with um, a Reason Reef. So if I find Nexus, I can still be able to cast it. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Why is that? What? Yeah, I feel like MTG actually makes me enjoy magic less. I'm sorry, not me. MTGA has made me play standard in paper in summer, which I've never did before. Like this is the first time ever that I play standard in summer. Okay, unfortunately, I will will not be finding a Nexus of Faith in the top thirty two cards. We saw zero Nexus of Faith, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, kind of that's that's it. So, but I don't know if my opponent can actually win next. I mean, next turn. I don't. I don't think they can. Like they could go Growth Spiral, the other thing, but. So what I'm gonna do is just cast Cavalier of Thorns here. Drawing, you know, basically five cards. But again, that was not what we wanted to do. All right, now we triggered these three times. Nexus of Fate, all right, good, good to find it. I can go upkeep Nexus of Fate, or maybe wish you should go as upkeep Nexus of Fate. I can't use two mana anyway, so I'm gonna play that and uh, I'm not gonna attack because that could just go spiral into a land and then block. So I'll just pass the turn here. How about just for Jade Light in particular? I mean, Razor Reef has just been an incredible uh, substitute for um, for Jade Light overall. Like you just play the the elemental package in every blue green deck and you'll be fine. I think like you'll never. Yeah, like, you, you can't really think of every game of having the, um, a money back, your money back. It's just a game, you know, when you go, when you, when you go to the cinema, you don't really ask your money back if, if, you know, after, after the movie. All right, they go to Fairy, I, I don't really care about that. I mean, they, they could talk my Tamiyo, but that's not really gonna bring them anywhere, I think. Now, I kind of want to just go for crazes if I don't have any, yeah. Crazies and then just win the game with like endless nexus. I think I think this turn is no way we can lose now. I think now is no way we can lose. I'm gonna kick the turns off with uh, nexus of fate, so that then I can like Tommy on such. All right. Now th th this turn we we wouldn't give my opponent another turn for sure, because once you have Tommy nexus of fate, you know all the quasi duplicate just go infinite Tommy easily, and the opponent saw that and conceded. All right, uh, I don't think I like the bomb spells. Like, I guess you can return all the zombies, but that's not what I want to do. Uh, not a fan of, like, these cards against the, uh, the Teferi deck. Also, like, we can't kill the Teferi. Like, I see this card in my sideboard, but I go, like, you know, this is for next. This isn't for, for Scape Shift. What well, is for Scape Shift, though? I mean, definitely board out Wagroth Walker. That is three cards to board in. I don't really know what to board in, honestly. Like, I don't know, I mean, Ceratops can attack the fairy, I guess. Uh, so, Veil of Summer, what does it do? No, honestly, nothing. Like, I don't, I don't want cards that are bad against the fairy. That's just how I decided to approach magic since the fairy's around. Just don't want cards that are bad against the fairy. Yeah, I think I'll keep the Wild Growth Walker. I, I don't see any card good in my sideboard for this matchup. I mean, this matchup should be already, like, a buy or very close to it. Would you make any changes to the band Trump? You post enchanted fireball. No, I, I, I play the legacy. Uh, sorry, standard uh, side event. I played like four standard side events on Vegas. Three of them were with Kithis and one of them with with band. I never went to a with Kithis, and the only one that I went with band, I went to a no. So like I don't know. I felt like uh, band is just it's it's just a good deck. It's just a very solid deck. I said to keep Wildgrowth Walker because it just makes my opponent. Maybe maybe they can't even kill me with like um a uh, skip ship for for eight or whatever. That just is pressure to planeswalkers. Don't you like Agent of Treachery in this deck? Ah, uh, your your curve is already too high. And also, what are you stealing? All right, play 
Island, play Wild Earth Walker, and pass. No, I think yeah, I think Bantaramp uh, is still gonna be good until the end of the format. Like it doesn't like like it doesn't really matter how is the form. I think Bantaramp is just a powerful like turn three kill that sorry turn three Nisa that just kills like even strategies that that, that try to that try to go bigger or anything. Like. Any cyborg changes to the account for a new kid this deck. I, I I was playing that deck. I mean, honestly, the games that I lost with Kithis were just, I don't know. For example, there was a match where I lost 2-0, and zero, where the first game I was banned and second game I was Esper. Like, both of the time I had a 2-drop and a Teferi that I could cast with my mana, so I kept, but I never found the other mana, the other color, and I just lost. And I felt like, you know, I think I shouldn't lose games because I draw three colors instead of four. So... Um, I, that's kind of why. That's kind of why I want that. Nisa's gonna dominate stand for so long. I think then once Nisa, ah, uh, Nisa's not great. I don't know. Uh, once Nisa, what once Lana or Alpha we rotate out, Nisa would be much more bearable. Like turn four Nisa, turn four Nisa. If you have like you know just removals or Basilica Bellount or Kithis, it's not. That oppressive, I think. Hello, the Pokemon Star Carlos. I am earlier today. Yes, yes. Still jet lagged from the Las Vegas trip, but I'm glad to stream for longer as I haven't streamed for one week. All right. I love a good old. Uh, I love a good old uh, MTGO against MTGA in the chat. Has been. Uh, it's been a big deal for like you know a year or something. The the economy on MTGO is uh, an MTGA. It's, it's strange. It is a free to play game, but in order to get your cards, you need to work a lot. Whereas on on Magic Online, you just cash it in, and then you're fine. And uh, MTGO can spend it to get started. Exactly, exactly. If you have like a budget of five hundred dollars to start, MTGO is better than Arena. But on Arena, you can just start for free and dump draft for free. That's why people love Arena because you can draft for free. Whereas on MTGO, drafting is like the most expensive thing ever, and even like. The t the trophy leader were were going down on, on on money, in the drafts. All right, let's go Jade Light. What are we playing against? Uh, Team Elementals. Okay. Ah. <laughs> the classic, the classic Jade Light Ranger hit two lands. Yeah, I mean, uh, Razor Reef is like miles better than Jade Light Ranger. Incredibly much better than Jade Light Ranger. Holy shit, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. Drafting on the juice is way better? I disagree. The fact that it's super expensive, it just makes it worse. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the experience. Like, I understand the experience. Wow, shock on that. I, I understand the experience is better, but the fact that you have to pay, like, $14 on empty to draft, and then it's a single elimination draft, and you just play, like, one match and it's over... Whereas, you know, it's just... Okay, so I could go Tamiyo, but I'm not really looking for anything here. I'm just gonna go Reason Reef uh, Cavalier of Thorns in this game. Can you get the money back? Nah, it's, 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 very, it's very hard. It's very hard to get your money back on MTGO. You can do it, but in draft... I mean, in, in Constructed, you can do it eventually, but... Like when when whenever we practice for uh, for limited on, on on MTGO for the PTs, it's always like you know you always burn like fifty or hundred ticks, which is okay. Like it's not a big, it's not a big deal or anything. All right, reason reef double trigger. Sorry, Yarok double trigger. All right, Yarok. This game is gonna be big. Like I don't like Yarok usually because it's just so weak against the fairy and like spot removals. But this time we don't have any interaction with them, so this card will just uh will just, will just dominate the board. All right, I'm gonna play Cavalier. I pass. Even though, if we if you wanna play this game, I think I'm favorite. I like my deck. Uh, really, I really just wanna draw in. My my deck has like a huge late game, whereas their deck also has a huge late game. But maybe my deck can just combo off, and there's a better late game there. Did the MTG model? No, I mean the MTG model is a model that has failed on the 
on the games. There's no game that has done that. Only Artifact has done that and has failed miserably. Every other game is free to play the, the MTG Arena model and the MTG Arena model is a huge success. I have so many people that would have that never touched Magic Online in their life that are now grinding every game to get their quests and play for free and play a free to game play a game and maybe you know sometimes buy some jams if they want to you know do a traditional draft a new set whenever the set came out and that's a super and that's a super successful strategy still whining who's whining we're talking here no one is whining all right yeah exactly death 4691 is uh, i think it's a is a good example of um, a magic player right now. All right, so we put the cards on top. Oh, these cards all suck. I don't want any of these cards. I mean, I could get Wagworth Walker, actually. Ah, oh, these cards are bad. I don't want any of these cards. I don't even know what I want, but definitely not any of these cards. So we're gonna go Submit Zero. Die, yeah? Jarena. Let me Submit Zero. Maybe I can't submit zero? Oh, I can't. Fuck. All right, I guess I get a Wagworth Walker. Oh, pick one and decline. All right, nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, there was a submit zero button, so I thought <laughs> I thought I needed to do that. All right, do I want to change my mind now that I killed the Reason Reef? Maybe, maybe I change my mind now. Yeah, I change my mind now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we just keep it focused on the game? Oh, I mean, my stream usually just involves a chat. Like, keeping it focused on the game sometimes is boring. Whereas, uh, talking to chat, I think it's I think it's more challenging. Also, let like, sometimes I, I watch streams, but I do other things, so I don't really follow the game. And if I treat it like more of a... I treat it more of a, like, a um, podcast, let's say. So, all right. Is it a double trigger now? Wow, I drew, drew two cards. That's good. That's very good. I treat it more like a podcast, let's say. So I, I like it. I like it. I like it this way. And there is back. All right, so I got a 13 here. Now I'll go off with, um, I think, I, I also kind of need the six life because my opponent could easily just, 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 I don't know, somehow, somehow just explode. So you go one growth walker, Jayla Ranger. Have you played that in your modder? No, I don't, I, I haven't, but I have, I have thought, oh, die. Uh, 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 things are going bad here, bad, 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 bad. I have thought about a deck, I've brought for Channel Fireball uh, with a new format, I think Colgan's Command is going to be insane in a new format, so I just want to play like a control deck with Brian and Six, Colgan Command, on the level of, uh, on the level of, um, of Legacy with like Astrolabes. And a splash for blue for like, um, just you know the good Snapcaster Mage, I spent Coldland and stuff like that. I find it very interesting to watch because you just describe your thought processes. You play very open answer. Yeah. More than background noise. Yeah, I do have background noise. Some something that's why I talk so long. And I don't want the music. Like I don't think the music is. Oh, they're getting too loud. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think I want the music on my stream. Like a lot of streams have music, but I think that. If you tune on the streams, you kind of like watching the streams instead of listening to like whatever music I'm putting on. That's why I'm not a fan of music on streams. Yeah, all right. Uh, opponent is going off. I mean, as I said, the Yarok is just a great engine. Like if Yarok goes off, I mean, I think I'm gonna concede this game. I understand that like maybe I could win somehow. I mean, maybe I could, I could win somehow, I don't know. The music is a good volume and chill. Yeah. I watched a big championship you won for the first time today, and the reason why the opponent was incredibly salty. Uh, Aronzinho, you, you're talking about uh, Piotr? No, Piotr jokes. It was not salty. He jokes with the emoji. That was not salty at all. Professional player magic, magic player are not salty. They just joke. Remember that. Whenever you see emojis going on on the MPL Weekly or on the Arena thing. All right, opponent. You, you, they could actually deck themselves. Like I have Nexus now. I have thirty-three cards. All right. Hi, Andrea. Is this the quasi-duplicate deck? It is. It is. 
It is. And we, usually we are the one that just go off. Instead, now my opponent is. Boom, take this. Okay, so how much mana do I have? I have quattro sette. No, I mean, whatever. I gotta concede. I gotta concede. Whatever. It's just, it's just you know, my opponent wins here. It just takes too long. I don't want to just let them go through everything. Yeah, don't put the music. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't put music. All right, so playing against the Teamer whatever deck. I kind of feel like this sideboard is just here chilling. I don't really sideboard at anything any, at any point. Okay, I guess I can sideboard in Reaver's Rebuke. This is the matchup for Reaver's Rebuke, I feel like. All right, I've got the one Rock Growth Walker and... Uh, um, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, well, I want a Growth Walker. Let's go for it. Obrigado, obrigado. Obrigado is a uh, Portuguese, right? Obrigado. All right, we drew our cyborg card. Wow, this one sucks. I guess I should think a little bit more before snap, keeping my hand. So like this, they're good against elementals. Nah. I think like this near is only for vampires. I, mean, I don't really know why it's in the cyber, honestly. I just net deck and feel like, you know, maybe against vampires this deck has troubles. Alright, drew the double green, lucky. And um, so that's why I have Slexin there in a cyborg, but I, I honestly don't necessarily know the exact reason. Did you break the bank? Did you break the bank in Vegas? Mr. President, hello. Did I break the bank? What does that, what does that mean exactly, my friend? All right, um, mm -mm. so here, so if it is just Jaylight was a reason I would have not played it, but it isn't. So I could be interested more in playing Tamiya. Nah, let's play Jaylight. Guaranteed um, the triple green for the Cavalier of Thorns. All right, that's gonna go in the bin. Did you throw money at uh, so, big win. Win big. I don't gamble, so definitely not that one. And I played a lot of side events, and I think I did fine. I think I did fine. I... Protection from blue is good. What do you mean, the Ceratops? Nah, but whatever. I mean, you can't really dilute your deck that way with Ceratops. Alright, uh, let's go, let's go Cavalier. There was a close one. It is. Very often, very often, I just read chat out loud. Like, you could easily insult me and my family, and I'm gonna probably read it. So, I just try to stop myself before doing that, but sometimes it doesn't work. So, I'm gonna some guy. Oh, yeah, I did. That's funny, right? So, I played like three standard events, and I'm playing as the same guy twice among around the side event, which is pretty cool. The guy was like, why? Why me two times? He actually beat me in one of these. So, he was happy. I think it is a yes. Uh, no, 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 no. I did not throw any money. Actually, I didn't really spend anything because the flight was paid from Channel Fireball. The hotel was paid. Uh, I went like three dinner, two with Channel Fireball. One was like uh, we got invited to a wonderful house by a friend of mine. So, honestly, I just never spent a single money in the, <laughs> in the whole trip. I might have spent like, I don't know, $100 overall. All right, so that's gonna attack, and then I'm gonna play Quasi Duplicate on the Cavalier. Yeah, and then then Jade Light. I think that's the best sequencing because if you go if you go Jade Light, you can't really put in into the wow two Quasi Duplicate more. That's cool. Yeah, I guess guess I'm gonna do that. And now I can even uh, add Lift King Droid out for more mana. No, no, most, 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 most. Yeah, I'll discard Tammy or whatever. You left that proudly? What does that mean? I'm run Bungdi. <laughs> okay, the link I need to play on top, actually. So I could play another quasi duplicate this turn, which is actually cool that I'm going to do that. Look who's going off right now, opponent. Who's going off right now? Huh? Huh, opponent? What do you think about this? What do you think about my turn five? You think it's cool? You think it's cool that I have five or uh, whatever, mana, four Cavalier Thorns on turn five? Can you show us your Foil Black Lotus? Foil Black Lotus um, shows a little bit of uh, not knowledge of the game. Black Lotus has only been printed three times 
Alpha, Beta, Unlimited. No foils in these times. But I do have Black Lotus in uh, my... It's actually here. It's actually here. It's right here. It's in this binder of cards that I'm gonna put in the safe as I finish this match. As my father wakes up. Alright. Uh, sure, I'll attack and then I'll guess like quasi duplicate more Cavalier. Did they? Alright, let's attack. Can we see it? Or is it sealed? No, no. Uh, my cards are not sealed. My cards are all playable. They were, they were, I was playing these cards in the cube. If you, <laughs> um, I am the cube on Las Vegas had uh, all the power nine and all the foils. Foils are overrated? No, I like foils a lot. I like foils a lot. Which decks are interested in the new world of modern? Uh, Jund, the Jundish type deck. I am actually interested in a, in a deck that is um, four color. It's basically Jund, but it's splashing. I mean, I'm sorry, sorry, it's Grexis, but it's splashing. Um, that's why I hate Reverse Rebuke, honestly. Like, I mean, obviously they're gonna win regardless, but if your opponent doesn't do much, this card is just garbage. And, uh, you know, some, some games are like that. Uh, I'll put in, like a Grixis deck, Splashing Green for Brandon Six and uh, Ice Fang Kotlin. So you're saying you let us a bunch of random people play with your crazy expensive cards? Yes, Bing Kinar. They were paying a lot of money to it because it was a Channel Fireball side event. And there was a judge looking at the table, and uh, we took picture before the. I I made the packs alone, and then we took picture after the draft, just so I would say things went all right, and all my cards are safe, no cards were lost, and uh, no cards got damaged. So it was a great experience. A lot of people enjoyed it, and Channel Fireball was very happy, and made uh, money with my side event. So I'm very happy that things went that way. Hello, IX Cricket. Well, they're hard to see on coverage as well. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Who cares about coverage? I just want to see my cards. I don't care about coverage <laughs> when I when I when I play with my foil deck. It's like someone someone that was uh, I don't know which car was it. I was sitting in the car of a friend of mine, and I was like, you know, your previous car was uh, more comfortable be the seat behind. And he goes like, do you ever sit behind in your own car? Which just kind of makes sense because in your own car you sit in front. Uh uh. uh. Alright, have you seen Amaz beating up judges? I did not. I did not follow. I did not follow the question, the, 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 the situation. Coverage in 2019 was great. Las Vegas had a wonderful coverage. I even went on coverage three times. I hope you guys catched it. It was I had a blast doing coverage. I hope I hope they call me for coverage more. Because I really enjoy, you know, discussing and talking about magic. What if I have a chauffeur? What's that? We think about the ban list. I think that it's all good. I'm very happy with it. I think the Rampaging for us to unban is bullshit. Not because the card is good. I don't think the card is good at all. But just because it's just, um, I don't know, it's just kind of a way... I don't know. I think Wizards did it because, like, whatever. But, I don't know. It feels like showing that... I, I honestly don't know how to explain about it. It is, it is kind of bullshit, too. The unban of Herosidon. I, I don't even think it's playable at all, but it should have been unbanned like last year and not like 20 days before the rotation or anything. Your book is looking for a board? Yeah. Yeah, R Rivers of Book were for like boards like the one before. Did you find your scarf? I mean, my scarf stayed in my house. I didn't lose it. My scarf, I think it's right, right there. Yes. My scarf is right there. And I just <laughs> forgot to bring it when I went to, when I went to Vegas. Actually, I'm very sad about it because uh, it's kind of cold inside. It's very cold inside. Oh, there it is. Reverse Abuke. Without knowing any new cards in the upcoming set, are there any cards you want to play post rotation? Yeah, Bant, Bant Ramp only, only loses Lana or Elf. So I'm, you know, very happy to. I just can't wait to play. Price is nice Cape Shift. Yeah, but Monorad was already good against Cape Shift. Like, sure, it's more things. But I mean, I guess the Trajan is good against. Uh, Ferocidon is good against um, vampires, that's where it's good. 
All right, I can't play Quasi Duplicate, unfortunately. I think I'd rather play Leaf King Druid over Jade Light Ranger, which really shows how not good is Jade Light Ranger, honestly. Like, we played it, but I haven't been very unimpressed with it. I guess I should have played Temple first. That was a mistake. Because you always want to hit a land. So that's why I should have done. Should have played Temple first. I'm not going to trade here because my Leaf King Druid will have two mana next turn. Jet lagged? Yes, yes. I've been awake for four hours despite being the 8 in the morning. I woke up at 4 a.m. after going to bed at like 11. This is classic jet lag, but it's okay, you know. I think getting power 9 is a wise way to invest. Yes. How liquid is? I think it's very liquid. I think it's very easy to buy and sell power 9 for good prices. There's a lot of vendors that do that at, at, at GPs. And uh, yes, I think, it's a, I think it's a good investment. Like, like like me, for example, I just don't have a clue of like stocks and banks and stuff like that. And whenever I put money in the bank, I always like lose infinite money. So I if I wish we, I would just would I would have invested all my money in in magic cards. You know, I really wish that. You know, if I would if I would travel back in time, I wouldn't put a single a single money into investment in the bank, but just in magic cards because investment in the banks went not good, and and the other thing went all is all is good. All right, um, mm -mm. so there are thorns. Yeah, so the way I'm tapping my mana is the following. It's Cavalier of Thorns this way. So if I draw a two drop, I can cast it with the two mana from the Leaf King Druid. All right, two cards are in the graveyard. And I now draw one card. And actually draw Jailer Ranger, which I can't play. I totally forgot about it. Because I forgot that the Cavalier puts the land into play untapped. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm gonna go graveyard. I mean, I put in that looks like a little, what is this? How can you play this guy? <laughs> Same, I had to go to work today. I was feeling like, yeah, Mikey. Thank you for your insight. You're welcome. You might not be using a bank. Uh, you might not be using a bank. What's that? What's that? What else would you do if you travel back in time? Um, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of things to do if I could travel back in time. I guess, I guess, buy magic cards. It's probably the best. Buying magic cards back in the days it was probably smart to play and probably Bitcoin along with it. Uh, isn't possible? Yeah, but we we like to leave. We play a fantasy game. We like to leave the dreams. For example, what my opponent could do if they would put rares in their deck. You know. Okay, is my opponent dead? Not yet. Not yet. So I'll play Quasi Duplicate, Target, Cavalier of Thorns. Yeah, is that magic related? Yeah, I mean, pre magic, I was not born. Because I was born in 1993, which is the year that magic came to life. So, you know. I could not travel back in magic before, back in time before magic. Is my time under brand six? Yeah, that's also, that's also smart. Do you back in time, make sure it sure makes magic, yeah. I mean, I, I really hope that if, um, if it wasn't for Richard Garfield, that we still would have had the game magic together and get some point. You know, it's a lot of time. Okay. And this deck feels like it's, it's kind of like, I don't know. I'm too old. I'm older. I didn't think I was. <laughs> yes. All right. Opponent playing a draft deck. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I mean, they do have a one rares. But this could have been a, a gate. Blue, red. It would have been the same. So, yeah. Mm -mm. All right, Paul. What do you do, Paul? Paul. Oh, another common, another uncommon. I'm just going off with this uncommon, huh? I think knowledge of ancient cultures would be the most useful skill to travel back. So the locals don't kill you, thinking you're a witch. <laughs> That's a very deep message, Mr. Sniper 101. I didn't think we could have gone that far. You should have a big breakfast to keep out energies during the stream. No, no, I my energy during the stream are given to me 
by I don't even know by what but I'm just you know, pretty energetic dude I'm just happy I'm just happy to be here as they say all right opponent I played my Nexus hoping you would concede but you didn't Twitch told me to buy weed stock weed stock is there even stocks of in, in weed really that's that's strange then just picked that was important, yeah. Alright. Probably the oldest guy in the channel. I used to play Stasis Lock. Oh, I remember playing against Stasis. When I was a kid, like super, like even before I was just even knowing how to play Magic, I just had my like green deck. Oh, my angel deck, I think I had. There was like an older guy, an older guy, an older guy with like the, the Stasis deck that was locking you. I don't even know how... How how did the old Stasis deck win? I remember he had like Kismet, Stasis, and uh, I don't remember, honestly, but I remember just, just getting like... He won via mill. Yeah, he won via mill, right? Yeah, th I, think, th I think that's how he went. Because there was this land that you exile it to do something. I don't remember, though. Wow, I, I, didn't, I didn't think that was a... I didn't think that we'd was an investment, but I guess we live in 2018, so... Meanwhile in Italy, they close stores that sell light weed, in the word they have used weed for stock. I guess that is... That is what it is. Alright, is my opponent dead yet? Yes, they are. They were probably dead last turn as well, but I was like clicking buttons. I kind of think this deck is just perfect for clicking buttons. My favorite deck was Blue Green Wild Mongrel Madness. Missed Lethal. Yes, that was an important lethal to miss, because uh, otherwise, if we didn't miss Lethal last turn, we definitely would lose. Alright. Alright. I need to sign a thing. Allora, Fio Model Delegante. Ooh, we won a lot of rewards. Look at that. I need to sign a thing and Poi cosa vado a fare l'identità? Three wins. Let's go. Uh, yes, yes, I've been awake since uh, four hours, because is a Constructed deck even easier than Diamond Plat, only about gold? Yes, it could be. Like, the Constructed event is very easy. I just want to practice a little bit before getting to the ranks, because, uh, you know, I'm very high on the ladder, and I don't want to just, just burn uh, percentages by making mistakes. I think at the end of the day, the testing is like, you know, it's obviously worse, all right. And keep. Oh, no, I mean the, the mythic ladder is is good testing, but oh, I think a firebrand. Let's see this matchup. Maybe I should add the uh, cerulean drake to my sideboard because someone had them in their sideboard, but they didn't like it. Not a fan of cerulean drake. If you like. Oh, this is a great trade. That could be on the one lander light of the stage. But you know, uh, honestly, I think they are like 100% on the one lander light of the stage. Because, you know, I mean, first thing first, just just don't keep one lander light of the stage. Why do Monorad players just don't like to play Magic? I don't understand. Alright. So the fourth Wagarth Walker, the fourth Adroid Crazes. That's it, probably. Uh, I think I'll cut a couple of Nexuses. And, uh, I don't know, I think I'll keep two Nexuses. Tamiya looks bad, but we can just get our four cards. Oh, the combo Wagarth Walker, Jailer Ranger. Yeah, they didn't sacrifice the goblin. I don't know, I thought it wasn't blocking. Monorad is good in best of three. Why? 
Can you elaborate on the CE, please? I want to try it out. What uh, are you asking to me? Uh, ready to rock? I don't know. Americans very often just use a lot of um, acronym, like CE. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I I really very often just get asked ask questions in the acronyms and I just don't understand them. All right, this good is then it's not good. Despite having lens and spells, unfortunately, I couldn't keep them. Constructed events. All right. Yeah, CE, for example, the first thing that I thought you meant with CE was the collector edition, but it doesn't make much sense there. Uh, constructed events. So um, so first thing first, if you want to play free-to-play, that's a good way to start. That's not the reason why I'm playing constructed events. The reason why I'm playing constructed events is that this deck is new to me. I've never played it, and I want to play well, so I want to learn it. And uh, since I'm number 15 on the ladder and I want to finish, you know, around first, I want to, whenever I play the ladder, I want to be sure that the deck that I'm playing is good. All right, Chandra. Ooh. Chandra's good. I think Monorad can, uh, can hold it post rotation between Chandra, Frenzy, and stuff. CE means computer engineering? Yeah, that too. All right. Scorch Spitter. That is impressive. Mm, maybe I shouldn't play Nexus of Fate in my deck. Or Cyborg. Especially on the draw. But I don't really know what to put. Maybe I could even put like Shifting Ceratops, because whatever. So now I can go, uh, I mean, burn from a hand would be probably devastating because I lose uh, four years, I'm 13, then... What do you think of Night of Autumn in your band? Night of Autumn is only good if you have artifacts to kill. If you don't have artifacts to kill, then don't play Night of Autumn. Constructed event have a lot of top meta decks. I mean, so far we have played against a bad deck and um, an okay deck and then a good deck. And now mono red with Scorch Speeder and Tier Street Dodger. Which isn't ideal, but can still get the job done. Alright. They flashback Lani Strike to kill my Wild Growth Walker. Now I have six ma seven mana tanks of Lani, so I don't think I wanna block. That probably just f f fight it with the, yeah, 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 that's true. That's true indeed. So I got a ten here. Need to draw my five six, uh, you know the the the, the thing. All right, that ain't it. Yes, playing Calicut. Wow, that's true. I didn't think about it. All right, I'm dead here. But okay, I don't board out. Ah, maybe on the on the draw I should have definitely boarded on Nexus. That was a mistake. Uh uh. uh. Alright, so I'm gonna board out Nexus. I'm probably just put Shifting Ceratops. Like, it's not really important, but it's a dude. And uh, whereas uh, Nexus is just not even a thing, unless you're going off, which you probably don't care about Nexus there. Maybe I should have sort of been dragging my cyborg. I currently don't have it. Currently don't have it, but maybe I should. Alright, play first. I'll uh, keep. Yeah, this could have been a Nexus. I'm way happier is a Shifting Ceratop. I'm still in your band list and I like it. Yeah. A lot of time to want to play. Yeah. No, no, I mean, ba my band list is very good. Like, as I said, in my, in, my, in my standard side event at the GP, I never did too well with Kithis, and whenever I played band, I went 2 0. I mean, I only I always played two rounds each side event at the GP. So, you know, it's not the biggest of the sample size, but still I'm very happy with. All right, land. Okay, I'm gonna go Reason Reef, which usually isn't good against the Chain Whirler, but still, I think it's better than, yeah, I mean, I was about to say it's better than the Wagroth Walker because I, because I don't have Jailer Ranger, now I have it. So maybe I should have done it. All right, I'll kill that, attack. All right, land. I need lands here, or uh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be very hard if I don't need land. Yeah, I need to go JLA first. I can't afford it to go wide Earth walker. I just need to eat land drop that land. All right, it's gonna be it. I lose, guys. 
I lose. We did against Cave Shift. Yes, Cave Shift is a bad matchup. That's the first thing I said in my article. Bent list, bent list, yeah. Alright. Can't be blocked next turn except by creatures with Defender. I guess we'll block it. I can't block it. Wait, I can't block it? What happened? Did I pay one? I guess I did. Alright. Light up the stage. Cavalcade of Calamity. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, GG opponent. Good game. Cavalcade of Calamity. I'm going to Italy for GP Bologna. I'm going to spend a week in Italy before the GP. If you, if you, if you come to Italy before, there's a Four Seasons tournament before, before the GP, which is a pretty cool tournament. It's going to be Legacy. So, I don't know if you can plan that out. But yeah, other than that, other than magic related things, uh, you know, Rome, Venice, Florence are definitely the top three cities in the in the country. Especially in November, where uh, you know, um, beach isn't a thing. Like in summer, I think that I just love to be on the beach in summer, because you know, better than than monuments in my opinion, uh, in summer. But uh, other than in summer. Um, there's like you know other 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 good places to be. Yeah, why are we not playing ranked? Oh, I don't want to really repeat that every time. It's it's mainly for um, it's mainly for uh, testing reasons, testing purposes. And now that now that I finished this, I'll change some cyber slots and then be ready for the ranked. Tornades in Rome, yes. No love for Milano. No, I don't love Milano. I love Milano to work. Like, because there's, like, infinite job purposes. My girlfriend lives there. I, I, I go there very often. I just don't like the city at all. It's great that, you know, there's, like, infinite job opportunities. And, you know, if Italy is still... If Italy is still alive as a country, it's mainly thanks to Milan only. But other than that... Will you be playing your band list on stream? No. I like to play, you know... I like to change it a little bit. If I think a deck is great, I play that deck a lot. Other than that, other than that, I just change it. All right, I think I got a rematch against this guy. So I played him earlier. Do you like Italian cars? Nah. I mean, other than the Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, I don't think Italians are Italian cars are pretty popular in the world. I guess they're pretty popular if you plan on uh, getting. Um, Whatever, I was about to make a joke, but I'd rather just focus here. All right, play Reason Reef over Jade Light because they have found a Firebrand to kill the Jade Light. Right. Stemming was in Rome, there was too many tourists. Yes, Rome was a lot of tourists. I mean, it's a, probably one of the best cities in the world, so it's rightfully, rightfully so if there's tourists. They don't attack with this, that's strange. Alright. I've heard there will be a great magic artist in this year. In Luca. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really a fan of going to Luca. I mean, I know it's cool and everything and people love it. But I just go to so many tournaments already that <laughs> you know, I'm not really I'm not really traveling to to go there. <laughs> It's a screen door and a submarine, what does that mean, sniper? Alright, I got Chandra. You're getting in here. They are getting in here, here indeed. In here indeed. Alright, so block. Now, if I draw land, I can go where I go to fucker Jade Light Ranger, but if I don't, I think I'll lose. I just can't see it if I don't. Alright. Let's go Wild Growth, Jade Light. They will, they, they still have like a Firebrand up for Jade Light. Oh, maybe they even have a Shock to kill the, the Wild Growth Walker. That would even be worse. Oh, yes, they have. All right, now I, I can see I can see things going south, as they say. Hmm, I was going to stay in the library. To the library. No, my opponent played very well with the Fnatic Firebrand there by not activating it. 
but all, all the times that he didn't activate it, that he didn't attack with it, it was it was very good. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no way I win this game. Good game. All right, so uh, I cut all the Nexus of Fates, and I put in um, Walker Crazes. Yeah, I just need to add two Cerulean Drakes in my sideboard. Even even so, the deck still like it's, the matchup is still awful. But um, all right. Yeah, we are right now. What are, what what is the scores? Three zero, I think. I think it's three and zero, and we lost to this guy playing Monored, and we might lose to him again, to them again. So that'd be a pretty brutal back to back loss in this in this event. But at least, at least we 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 learned to match up. Branch Walker and uh, Explorer is really bad. Explorer, it's a really bad mechanic. Okay, so what do you want to do here? I'll go Leaf King Druid. I maybe should have bottomed this crisis. I don't know. Nah, I left King is too juicy in this matchup. All right, I have the card that did that says something bad. Yeah. Okay. So what do we want to do here? I guess I'll play a Crazes for two to have a blocker. All right. Explorers, like once you've discovered how good is, uh, like back in the days, by back in the days, I mean before I'm 20, I loved uh, Jade Light Ranger. You know, it was one of my favorite card, but now I just, I just think it's so bad. Cause once I, once I found out how good is the ooh, that was a good draw, Mangu. That was a very lucky draw for me. I drew these back to back. I mean, okay, sure, this combo is amazing, and you just win on the spot. But other than this combo, the Jedi Ranger is so much worse than Reason Reef. All right. Yeah. Yeah, this is not a thing. That's just not a thing in the sideboard that I can bring in. I mean, I could cut Tommy also sifting Ceratop. Like if I had, uh, what do you want to, I wouldn't even want to have just from a removal spells, but blue and green don't have them. Blue, green, not have them. Yes, I agree. Baird's me. What about Veil? Veil? If you're boarding Bale in this matchup, I suggest you a visit to the Oculist. I don't know if the Oculist is a word, but that was the joke that I thought. What I wanted to say earlier, I was stick to Bant until Saturday. Yeah, I agree. All right, opponent probably has a Lightning Strike, which I kind of hope they play on this Wild Growth Walker. Do you consider Faithless Looting a good ban? Yeah, I mean, whatever. Sure. I mean, I, I hate bannings because they just burn people money. I hate bannings, honestly. I, I always dislike bannings. I think there's like uh, 10, 10 cards that they should unban before, you know, before ban new cards, but it's not what we just think. So they just prefer incinerate people money. Because I'm. What Unbanding did was just in ra uh, raising the price of cards, so everyone was kind of happy about like their Stoneforge Mystic worthing a lot now. But you know, a friend of mine just asked me to buy cards to, for the Monored Prowess deck and was unable to use them. So he spent 200 euros on Monored Prowess and now the deck is dead, has died. So Wizards basically just took 200 euro from the pocket of my friend. And I really dislike that. Like, whenever Bannings happens, it's, it's kind of always the case and uh, whereas unbannings are great so i always find banning cards bad unless it's a problem like a specific like a problem like like the one uh, with hogak like an r&d mistake all right so they shock my reason reef in the wrong timing because they let me explore Uh, I have played Quasi Duplicate in the previous game. This matchup, Quasi Duplicate doesn't shine because you play Quasi Duplicate, they burn it. It's not ideal, but I, I, you know, 
I've played because I duplicated it earlier. Our opponent is mana. There it is. You're calling it. Opponent is mana screwed here. Sorry, flood. Play Cavalier of Thorns. I think we got this. I think opponent just draw five lands and that's it. All right. And I'll pass. Honor Prowess will maybe be better without Phoenix? No, it's not. Come on. If it was better without Phoenix, people would have played it without Phoenix. All right. I got this. What's the score? Is this, is this, is this Phoenix or still, still fighting? Four. All right. One more win for a very big stack of coins. Would it be best of three? Yeah, I would play best of three. Do you draft on MTGA just by standard? Usually just by standard. I can draft if it's like a new format. That's cool. But, you know, if it's old format, I'm really not interested in that. Mono Red Prowess didn't play. What's Mono Red Prowess? All right. I mean, there's a plethora of bad decks, but if the reason why this friend of mine decided to buy the Mono Red Phoenix deck is because it was a good deck. And, you know, you don't really want to play a, a bad version of a, of a modern deck if, you, if you're a competitive Magic player. All right, I got to keep this hand in the dark. I think that even if we don't have green, going turn two, three, or maybe three, sorry, two and three, it's okay. Obviously, as of is not a great, but it's a risk of putting this card in the deck. Would you rather eat frozen soup or heated ice cream? I mean, heated ice cream is um, is uh, is a thing. Heated frozen soup? No, never. But heated ice cream. I mean, the only reason why soup is good is because it's hot. Whereas heated ice cream, it's it's okay. It's like it makes it. You know. So sometimes when I was a kid, I actually enjoyed it a lot. I just get my ice cream, and then I just uh, just wait until it just melts. All the flavors in one. All right, so we're playing against the uh, Sultai Scape Shift. All right, that's a fine draw. The reason why I like crazies in this deck, like some people don't play it because of the number with uh, quasi duplicate, but the reason why I don't mind it is because it's a good curve filler. Like now we play on four because we have nothing else to do. And, uh, you know, just go on. Now I can't cast my Cavalier of Thorns because I don't have triple green, which kind of sucks. Do you like better gelato ice cream? I don't know the difference. Do you come to Lyon to play the last standard European? I mean, it's not only the last standard GP, the only standard GP. In Europe, we did not have a single, it's kind of unbelievable that we did not have a single GP in standard. Whereas in America, they were making standard GP of 600 people. That is very bad, and I kind of tell Channel Fireball, you know, you know what, Channel Fireball, you should make more standard GPs in Europe instead of mono modern, which is what happened. Uh, all right, I think I'll name Reason Reef. There it is. You really don't want to name Quasi Duplicate because that can just sit on your graveyard. And now I'll pass. So do you come? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Lyon is very close to Italy, right? Yeah, I've been to Lyon a couple of times. It really depends on the schedule. It really depends on uh, the PT, the Arena MC. I don't really know when Lyon is. Like, uh, there is an Arena MC every... I think I'll jump. There is an Arena MC every month now, October, November, December. So I really need to see this before deciding everything. End of October, beginning of November. There's an Arena MC um, 8, 12 October. Oh, sorry, early November. I, well, when is Richmond? I don't know. I don't know still. I, I have to yeah, I have to figure out this. Yeah, the, the, the Richmond ones, then the paper one. All right. Uh, what do we start with? I'm going to start with Reason Reef. Reason Reef. Okay, this matchup should be good. Once we go off, it's gonna be okay. So I haven't made a land drop, so I'm gonna go decline on this. Then I'm gonna play. Um, maybe I should have just 
I should have just played Cavalier of Thorns this turn. Now I'm gonna play Quasi Duplicate on the Reason Reef, discarding. This is close now. What are you gonna discard? Because I could cast Wagarth Walker with Leaf King Druid. Yeah, I guess I'll discard Nexus of Fate. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use Tamiya first. I'm gonna use Tamiya first. Let's see if I hit something. Let's do this. I'll go Jayla Ranger. Alright, I bricked. Now I'll go Quasi Duplicate on the Reason Reef. Mm, I'm so it's so close. It's so, so close. I think I'll discard Cavalier of Thorn. If I wanted, I'll just get back with Tamiya, whereas I can't get back with Tamiya or the next of Fate. I mean, this was a mistake, though, because they can just destroy the Reef. Alright, no. Did not happen, so it's all good. Alright, take action. Scry first, and definitely Graveyard, sorry, definitely Bada, and perfect. All right, so we are, we have Refield of Lands, which is exactly what we need in a game like this, with Tamio and, Wait, what just happened? Oh my God, this is an Elemental? Really? This is an Elemental, this is the first time this generation came up in like the first six games, that's why we practice. I didn't know this. Oh wow, this is great. This is great, so this is an elemental that triggers all the reason reefs. Yeah, Pepega indeed, Pepega indeed. I didn't know that, no. No, 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 this is the first time this comes, the Russian comes. Maybe I just make mistakes the whole time here. All right, now, I need to maybe just jump like this Cavalier of Thorns, let my time go down to two. And then just try to win the game with uh, this interaction. Yeah, let the Tamiya go down to two, then I'll play Nexus of Fate, hit Tamiya, Nexus of Fate. And yeah, just try to win that way. I think I think this makes sense. I think this block makes sense. Lounder is elemental? Really? No, it's an Alpha Druid. Alright, so first thing you do is uh, casting Nexus of Fate. That when you go Tamiya naming Nexus of Fate, you have uh, you have more Nexus of Fate in your deck. All right, quasi duplicate. That's a great hit. Very very happy. Very very happy. This is great with Tamiya. You just mill the quasi duplicate as well as uh, digging for the other thing. Is this an elemental? No. Is this an elemental? Yes. I didn't play land, right? So I'm gonna go decline. So I'm going land, Leaf King Droid, triple trigger, and now now my opponent will never have another turn here. This matchup is great. This is a deck that really beats very easily on scape shift. Yeah. Now on paper you just reveal uh, the three the three nexuses and and call it a day. All right, you want to go upkeep Nexus always, so you have more odds of drawing it. Not that we need it, but just, wow, we just drew it immediately. That's because it's foil, so it's Mars Leaves. You should play a mountain, basic mountain. I mean, I don't really want to name Nexus of Fate anymore, but I guess I will. All right, now we just need not need to not deck ourselves. I did deck myself earlier. That was not pretty. What's your favorite format right now? Legacy. It's always Legacy. Legacy will always be my favorite format. There is not a single scenario where Legacy is not my favorite. Uh, take action. Um, take action. So now it's important to put a stop in your upkeep so we don't deck ourselves like I did earlier. Like the restriction of Karn and Forge, yes. I love it. I love it. What's my favorite deck in Legacy? It always changes. I mean, I really play everything. And uh, right now, next Sunday, I'll be playing... Uh, oh, opponent, uh, Field of Ruins me to shuffle the top. 
That's sweet. I will be playing uh, like a control deck with Astrolabe Brandon 6. All right, so I'll play Nexus of Fate. I'll uh, draw. Main. With a stop in upkeep, just, you know, not deck yourself is the most important thing with this deck. Name Nexus of Fate. And I hit two of them. Nice. All right. To, to, yeah, yeah, I love, I love the restriction of Karn and Forge because I feel that the good thing of Vintage is be able to play interactive blue ma blue matchups, whereas uh, you know Dredge and Dredge and Worship decks aren't really good magic, so it just makes the format not interactive to me. Whenever I see magic, I always think about interactive magic. I never think about like Charles of the Void decks because this isn't the magic that I like. That's why I love Legacy. Oh yeah, I play a lot of vintage. I play vintage in paper as well. I have all my vintage cards in foil too. Um, how, you, how would you win? Oh, you just attack. You have infinite turns. You attack with your creature, with your creatures. Okay, so playing a Sultai. The Sultai decks means that they don't, they don't have uh, Teferi, so Veil of Summer is actually good in this matchup. And uh, Narset Reversal, um, how is it? I don't think it's good, no? Negate, how is it? I don't think it's foil, no? Can you show us foil? No, it's too boring. Uh, 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 I'll cut the uh, one Wild Growth Walker. What else do I want to cut? Maybe I just got all the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, I don't think I care about those. Uh, yeah, everything else looks fine. They could have they could have the, the Legion's End, so I could see cutting one Hydra. Two Edge against Legion's End, and maybe boarding like one Reaver's Rebuke. They have four egos. Oh, I love the boarding four egos. They could even board in six or seven or eight if they want to. Just bring in all the egos, please. How is this version of Nexus superior to the Reclamation? Uh, how is it? I think it's better against the fairy. I usually don't play decks that are bad against the fairy, and um, this version, you know, it's it's just a combo deck that plays around uh, a lot of things going on. Right. All right. I have a stop in. Uh, Draw step and okay, let's go. Forest, Lanoir, Elf. Uh, you time your turn three without naming. Usually, you name uh, uh, Nexus, but if you don't have Reason Reef, I really love to name Reason Reef here. I mean, there. All right, I'll play Reason Reef. I don't care if they go uh, Thought Erasure me, they'll discard whatever they want to discard. Yeah. Just um, just going on curve is just the best way to beat this, that deck. Depends on the situation, what do you even end? Yeah, but let's say Nexus of Fate is usually the norm, or like Reason Reef is really like, the, the combo is just Reason Reef plus Quasi-Duplicate. Okay, so now, okay, good Tamiyo. I think going Tamiyo is just uh, super safe. So my opponent cannot Thought Erasure me anymore. And now, for example, I'll name Nexus of Fate. I already have um, Reason Reef and I'm looking for wow, this is just perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to see. A Nexus in the end and a quasi duplicate of my Tamiya Plus. Mengugo Popo. I mean, I don't. If you want to subscribe me, do it, don't worry. I'll thank you if you do it a lot. But you know, I don't know what Mengugo Popo -po means. I had a Reason Reef in the graveyard and it's correct quasi on top. Yeah. Yes, I mean, whenever you scry things on top, you'll just like to dry them with Damio. <laughs> and actually, in some cases, look at the look on the face, they can't quite believe what's happening to him here. Um, <laughs> That's got to become a meme at some point. Thank you, DJB. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're having a good time with us. Nice little fade deck. All right, so what do you want to do here? That's the best that I can do here. I think I want to go with Jilly Ranger first. And then name whatever I find on top with Tamiya. Let's see if I find two lands. One land and a spell. I'm going to go Labyrinth and name it. Even if I don't care too much about the Jade Light, I mean, it's just, again, it's like, same thing, it's just free spell in my hand. 
and uh, you 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 know me, guys. I'm a, I'm a fan of free of free value. I am a fan indeed of free value. So I'll sir I'll um how do you say? She is not a is not a beauty for this. Just you talk to Reed Duke much? Yes. We almost keep together. <laughs> No, she's grasped on my Tamiya, and that's pretty late. No, she's grasped. You should make Mongo po 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 emoji. I don't understand what you mean with uh, that TJB. Did I ever say that word? Oh, poo poo. I see. Sorry. I didn't know the meaning of poo. I understand now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like a sing, a song. Like in Italy, you go po 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 po. You know, it's a, it's a song. I think it take a long time in the washroom. Oh, all right. Yeah, I, I don't really take too long, though. I, I'm usually very fast. Other than the day when uh, the Banleys came out, I went to the... I went to the... To I woke up at 8, a, and there was the Banleys out. I went to the to the toilet, and I stayed there one hour. When I woke up, my legs just didn't feel anymore. I didn't feel my leg anymore. I had to move my leg with the hands. Assassin's Trophy on the Leaf King Road might be the most wild things I've ever seen in my life. And you might say, man, you just haven't seen very much wild thing. Like that time where they passed up my Noble Heart Content 1. That was also a fun time. Alright, put us full tapped out. We have a lot of going on here. Three, six, seven. So I'm just gonna start off with the Nexus of Fate, because why not? It's basically like a free explore. And as I said multiple times, I love free things. So here we go quasi duplicate on the reason beef. Double trigger. Take action. And draw a Cavalier of Thorns. Which I'll be playing. And I'll be passing the turn. I could leave mana up for Bill of Summer, but I really don't care. There's there's not much that my opponent could do to to I don't know, do anything in this game. If the, even if they go even if they go Massacre Girl or Scape Shift or whatever they want to do. I guess if they go Scape Shift could be annoying. Even though maybe I win next turn. Alright, the next is a fate. Unexpected. What did I do with my winnings? I put all of them in the bank. And wait. Wait for what? I don't know. Wait for the future to come. Do you believe this version of Nexus has more chances against vampires? Hmm. I don't know. I haven't played against Vampire yet. Maybe Vampires with the Ferocity on Ben, uh, on ben will be... Maybe. Alright, so they got a bunch of tokens, which we don't really care. And uh, they don't have another turn. Oh yeah, maybe... They, no, yeah, yeah, they don't, they, they don't have another extra turn. Alright, they're topped out. Yeah, I mean, th this matchup is just incredibly good. Like, maybe the Nexus of Fate wasn't that good against Cape Shift. Sorry, it was good against Capeship, but not too good. Whereas this matchup is just unlosable. Like, there is no way we could lose this matchup. Alright. All I want to do now is just a quasi duplicate on my Cavaliers, thin in my deck to find more uh, Nexus of Faith. And a ramping up would have been ideal, but you know, that's fine. We found more Nexus of Fate. And Reverse Abuke too. Alright, that seems like a perfect combination if I have 13 mana. Now that we need it, the game ends for sure. Like under like the game the game is super open as your cards and then we have like twelve. How much mana do I have? Say no, it's not lethal yet. So I'll play Nexus of Fate. Four mana up. Uh-huh. I'll play because I duplicate. On the Cavalier. I mean, it was lethal. No, it wasn't. Next turn, it is. Mirror Breaker. I mean, it's just one Reverse Rebuke. Also, no, this is not. I mean, the Mirror Breaker is uh, the Nexus. It's not. It's not the. Like, who cares about Reverse Rebuke? I really hate this card. I'm gonna cut it from my deck. So much a win more, such a win more card. Alright, pass. And reverse.
Universe of Duke. Okay, this was uh, this was a good league. We lost to Mono Red and went five and one. Oh, Nexus, yes. This this version looks. I mean, it's not really a mirror. This is. I mean, I don't know how this 